my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beverly and it's really nice to see you today. So I'm really, 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 really excited because I reached my goal of 300 subscribers. Hello everyone. Um, this is really exciting to me. I never thought I would get 300 subscribers. I honestly just never thought it would happen. But I'm so incredibly grateful that people are liking my content enough to hit that subscribe button ring that little bell and stick around and become a little community. I would love that. So um, welcome to everybody who's new. Thank you to everybody who supported me from the start and followed along the way. It's lovely to see you all here. Um, so I post on my Instagram this image, Q&A. Make sure you follow me, Miss Adventure XX. I'm the same everywhere, so I'm really easy to find. And I've got nine people who've asked me questions and I'm really excited to answer them. So let's get to it, shall we? Oh, and I'll leave links to everyone's Instagrams down below so you can go and check them out as well because they're really cool. Anyway, the first question comes from my friend Matt. He's at Monster Health and Fitness. He's also a YouTuber, so I'll leave his link down below. And he said, how did you meet your husband and how did your romance bloom? I met my husband um, through an online dating site, Match.com, most people have heard of it. Um, I was living back with my parents, I was very depressed and I rarely left the house. I can't leave the house very much on my own. So I was just kind of chilling in the house and I thought, well, better way to meet somebody than to join online dating. And I tried a couple of other sites and they hadn't really worked out for me. Um, and I joined Match.com and I had only been on there a week when I received a message from Lee the first time. But he'd actually been on Match.com going on dates with people for a few months and they'd never worked out. They'd always been strange women. And he was like, they were who the Match.com was matching him with and they were just not his type at all. And he was just about to hit delete delete my account when he thought to himself well why don't I look myself and he clicked on the search and I was the first face and he thought wow I don't know why he thought wow but he did and uh, he clicked message and we started talking um, we spoke every single day on MSN messenger and through our phones we'd send each other pictures and stuff not that sort of pictures nice pictures just pictures of us chilling out okay don't know um and we just got to know each other over a few months i think it was about three months before we met um and i decided that because i'd done this whole thing where you know you start talking to somebody online and you immediately go and meet up with them for a date and it hadn't been working out and i was like okay let's do it differently this time this guy seems nice so we just got to know each other. We talked about everything, our childhoods, our families, what we'd been doing that day, whatever. We just talked about things. And he, um, I felt very nervous telling him that I had chronic illnesses. But um, at the time we thought I had multiple sclerosis. They did change that diagnosis later. But um, yeah, at that time, and I thought telling this guy is going to be like, I don't want to know you. But in actual fact, when I told him that, he told me that he had epilepsy and that was just it. Then we were just in it. He actually told me that he loved me before we'd met in person, which if somebody told me that, I'd be like, that's weird. Um, that's really weird. But when he told me that, I was just like, oh my God, I feel the same. It was just an instant connection. It was just meant to be. And we've been together now. Eight. 10 years, 10 years, married for eight, I think, I'll probably get a smack up the head because I've got it wrong, but I always get muddled, but yeah, he's just a really amazing husband, he's very supportive of everything I try and do, and he spoils me rotten, <laughs> and I just love spending time with him, he's amazing, so I'm very thankful that he clicks on that search instead of delete. Next comes from my friend, now my friend Oh, Yana, she's always got to be the one. Ask me two questions. That's fun. <laughs> what was your first fandom that you fell in love with? When I was 11, Nuka's on the Block came out. I know, I know, I'm old. Just leave me be. 
um, they came out and I was mad into them. I had posters all over my wall, on my ceiling. I, they were the first concert that I ever went to. I just loved them so much and I still do today. Um, whenever they come to the UK on tour, I try and come and see them. Um, I just love Nickers on the Block. Just always have. My first online fandom, the thing that actually got me interested in the internet because, um, yeah, I was, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. But anyway, it was kind of the starting of the internet was when I was like, just finished university. Oh, God. So, um, yeah, I, um, my first fandom that I really got into online was Buffy the Vampire Slayer um, it's how I started going to conventions it's how I learned about you can actually meet the actors that you like I found a lot of friends through that fandom I still am very much in that fandom even now it's my favourite TV show ever um, it would take a lot to beat it I love Buffy and I re-watch it every couple of years and it's just the greatest thing ever um, yeah, I just love it. I just do. It's just the way it is. And then her second question, I've got to scroll down because she came back later to ask the second question. If you could live in the universe of one of your favourite movies, shows or books, which would it be and why? Now this I have been thinking about. It's been stewing in my mind since she asked me. So um, it took me a long time to think about this because I definitely don't want to be in any verse that's got zombies. So Walking Dead is out vampires and stuff so most of my fandoms are out like including Buffy I'm just like I don't want to be dealing with real life vampires and then when I thought about it I was like you know what once upon a time it would be cool to be Snow White or to be friends with Snow White or to you know to be a friend of the Mad Hatter or one of the pirates on Hook's ship and to live in all these different realms and know that magic is real I just think it would be amazing and even when you're in the curse like you're in this little town where nobody leaves and nobody comes and it's reasonably safe there until the first curse is broken so I think once upon a time wins that one definitely so the next question comes from Miss Mary Lou who I recently did a collaboration on my YouTube channel with so definitely go and check that video out and go and check her channel out but she asked, what's been the most rewarding part of YouTube and the most difficult thing? I think the most rewarding thing about being on YouTube is finding my voice again. I very rarely leave the house. I've suffered with depression for a long time and I've struggled to deal with being chronically ill because I'm somebody who likes to do things. I don't like to just sit and watch the television. I'm always doing things. And so when it comes down to it, I think the most rewarding thing is, is just having a voice again. I think I said that in like my first video, that I have a voice, I have opinions, I have thoughts, I have interests. I'm more than just this sick girl who stays at home. And I wanted to get that out there, and it's been incredible experience the hardest the most difficult part i think kind of ties in with one of the best things which one of the best things is some of the friendships and people i've got to meet through doing youtube um there's quite a few people who i just would never want to lose out of my life now they're just in my life friends forever and it's been amazing to get to know people and it's one of the best top five things about doing YouTube. The hardest thing is I have social anxiety and I um, struggle with saying hello to people and I struggle with just being a person who feels worthy enough that people want to spend time with. I've collaborated with two different people now and the second person I messaged them that was Miss Mary Lou and that was terrifying because she's one of my favourite YouTubers her her videos are so cinematic and they have this warmth to them that I just was like I, I don't know how she does it but it's beautiful 
and messaging her I was for sure certain that she was going to say no way no way man no get out of here but she was really nice and I've I feel like I've gained a friend by doing that networking and being social and being um, more active on social media is very difficult for me I can never think of something to say because I rarely go out so being active on Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that which helps drive people to your YouTube channel it's really difficult yeah networking definitely the hardest thing for me I'm not good at marketing myself at all then my friend Fibro Fairy said what's your favorite food it's got to be Mexican for me I love spicy food it doesn't always like me it usually makes me ill but I love spicy food I love Mexican food my favorites burrito I have um, I go to this place when we go shopping and it's like an open burrito so it's like without the wrap and it's just all salad and burrito filling and it's mwah. other than that I, I love dark chocolate I love dark chocolate in it in any form and I really love ice cream especially at the moment the Alpro coconut flavor um vegan ice cream oh, that with fruit is just so yummy definitely recommend that definitely um the bygone girl said what other realm would you want to live in and this is reasonably connected to my friends asking if i could live in any kind of other thing and I had a good think about this and I think I mean I love once upon a time I would want to live in the enchanted forest I would want to be in a little because I've always wanted to live in a little cottage in the forest so I would love to live there and yeah just to be friends with everyone other than that probably Anne of Green Gables oh yeah so my friend Lexa's subject said, out of the people you know online, who would you want to meet in person? This is the hardest question ever because honestly, some of my best friends I've made online, like you, Miss Lexa's subject. You're one of my good, good friends. I, I know that we've kind of, our friendships drifted recently because we've both been struggling with our mental health. But honestly, if I could meet you and your sister, I'd be so happy. If I could meet Yana, I would be incredibly happy. Some of the vintage girls that I'm friends with on Instagram, like the bygone girl who asked the question before. Um, and then there's friends that I've made through um, role playing and through being a Buffy fan that I've been friends with for like 20 years now. And we know each other so well like Paula like um yeah there's so oh I can't even think so many everyone everyone I'd love to meet Miss Mary Lou I'd love to go to California and have her show me around and I'd love to go to Disney and and do fun things Wild Young Beauty asked what keeps you motivated this is a really difficult one because um, I have people who, and this is something that disabled people hate being asked, is hate being told, sorry, is like, you're an inspiration to me, you inspire me, and it's like, oh, please, just stop. But I have people say that to me a lot. What keeps me going is my faith. I believe, and I know a lot of people don't believe this, but I believe in all the religions what I mean by that is I don't believe there's a single religion that's just the way but I think there is some truth in all the religions they all have beautiful aspects that you can bring into your life and one of the main things that I've come to realize recently is that we're all just spiritual beings that are trying to get back home we're trying to get to enlightenment or whatever you want to call it um, and our soul comes back time and again um, because we want to grow and learn in each lifetime. And I want to learn as much as I can. I want to get to that point where I'm enlightened and I'm, I've done the best I can and I get back up to heaven or wherever we go 
being part of the universe and you realise your job's done, you've learned what you can learn. Other than that, what keeps me motivated is just every day feeling like I want to I want to achieve something and every day I have um, a list of things that I usually work out like the night before list of things that I want to get ticked off the next day and it's usually like four things and it'll take me all day to do those four things because mm, my illnesses but I would definitely say that what keeps me motivated is being organized as well if you're organized and you have like ticky systems or you have like a list and you work your way through it I think it can be really nice when you get to the end of the day and they're all ticked or they're all crossed off and you think yeah I actually achieved something today um, that keeps me motivated um, definitely definitely keeps me motivated so those two things together I can't lose <laughs> And then the last question I got was from the mental health page and this said how did you make your YouTube and Instagram profile photo and what advice would you give to someone who wants to start a channel about mental health slash disabilities? I didn't make my YouTube or Instagram or Twitter picture. Um, I was approached by this network called Talency and they basically have loads of things that you can utilize one of the things is to have a drawing of you made to be used as a profile picture and so um i sent in everything like people whose pictures inspire me the sort of thing that i was after and sent it over to them and they sent me this picture back and see you're amazing look them up they're really good tell them i sent you <laughs> also what advice i would give you is just go for it you can record on your iPhone, you can record on a camera. I use um, a video camera, um, an actual camcorder now. Um, my husband bought me one because using a digital camera, it was too heavy for me and I was struggling to hold my hand up. I use a camcorder. You can record on a laptop. I know Jenna Marbles, when she started out, she just recorded on her laptop. You can use your iPad. Um, there's loads of free editing. I think even YouTube has in, in it like an editing app in it. I could be wrong about that. But um, yeah, just go for it. Just sit down and tell your story. Be you. Um, don't try and emulate other people. I think it's very easy with YouTube to kind of get caught up in the whole he did a video about this so I'm gonna do a video about this and she I think don't try don't do it for how many pe if you've only got five people still keep going if you've only got you know two people and it's your mom and dad it doesn't matter just get out there and tell your truth because you talking about especially mental health and disabilities I mean your page the mental health page which of course will be linked down below your page helps me a lot it helps a lot of people and if you can bring that into a video that would be amazing just imagine how many people you could help by talking about mental health and disability I never realized that I could make a difference I thought oh my goodness there's so many people talking about this no one's gonna want to know me and look where we are now doing a Q&A for 300 subscribers and when I get to 500 subscribers I'm going to do a giveaway and these are things I would I never even imagined that I would get to um, there's some really big disability YouTubers out there like Molly Burke at the moment is crushing it she's got like a million subscribers and she's collabing with a lot of really big YouTubers and really bringing awareness to disability but there's a whole community of disabled and people with mental health issues who are trying to spread the word. There's a whole community on YouTube and um, you're welcome to join whenever you would like. I would definitely click that subscribe button and be watching all your videos. So why not? Even if you've only got me watching, that's better than nothing, isn't it? So I just say go for it. Just yeah just bite the bullet and go for it <laughs> you never know where it's going to take you what friends you're going to make 
and how amazing you, you're going to feel and how proud of yourself you're going to feel because honestly when I look at my first my my very first video I'm so nervous and I'm so like and I've got my dog in front of me and I'm clinging to him because I'm just terrified and struggling to understand what I'm doing but I did it because I was inspired by one of my favourite YouTubers, Marissa LaRocca. She's um, come through a lot in her life and she's an incredible spokeswoman for mental health issues. She's amazing. I don't think she's on YouTube as much anymore, but um, she's just promoting her first book. I mean, how amazing is that? So who knows where things are going to go? I do know that I'm incredibly thankful for it all of you who ask questions, even Cheeky Yana who asked too. And I'm just thankful, I'm thankful for 300 people being subscribed and I cannot wait to grow my channel, I'm so grateful. I have so many ideas for videos that are coming up, I'm going to do a video about starting collecting crystals and using them, I'm going to do more videos about my psychic journey, I've got videos about mindfulness and LBGTQ as well because it's pride month and i'm very proud pansexual there's a lot coming so definitely if you're not subscribed yet and you think you like my content please click that subscribe button i've got so many videos coming and so much fun things gonna happen you just have to be here to see it all now i'm gonna grab my little dog who's actually snoring but i've just woken him up oh Oh, you're going to say thank you for subscribing to my mummy and come back soon and see us again. Yeah? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed these questions. And if you like this video, I'll definitely do one similar uh, again in the future. I would love that. Love, um, I love just getting to know you guys. So a question for you. What's your favourite book? And what do you think it tells people about you? And I will see you all next time. Bye.